Hey everybody, what's going on? As the channel has surpassed the 2,000 subscribers, which I'm super happy about, that's a huge achieve achievement for me, I wanted to thank everybody for subscribing to the channel, every single subscriber out of that 2,100 right now, as well as everybody that likes every video that I post, um, everybody that list dislikes it, everything positive and negative, I appreciate very, very much. It opens up discussion and it's just great for the channel. Um, there's a lot of comments and a lot of videos, so it's really good. That means the content is interesting and there is a lot of dialogue going on. So that's good. But because the channel has uh, surpassed that 2,000 subscribers, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my basketball background, um, kind of where I get my basketball knowledge from and, and stuff like that. So I didn't have a, a huge basketball career. There was no glamour, no, you know, professional league or anything like that. Um, but I tend to think I was a pretty good basketball player. So this is kind of my story. You're going to see some video of my gameplay uh, that I played in uh, uh, overseas. I played here in, uh, in the United States, in New York, and all, kind of all over the place a little bit. But I'll explain as I go. So I'm 43 years old right now. It's 2023. Um, I was born in 1980 and I was born in Poland, in Europe. Um, I came to the United States when I was 12 years old. And that's about the age when I started to... Um, be interested in basketball, started to play basketball, and then about 93 to 94, I started watching basketball, and uh, I think the first NBA game that I've ever seen was uh, the Knicks, and I just fell in love with the team. I was living in New York at the time, so since that time, I became a fan of the New York Knicks, and I've been a fan since then. It hasn't always been easy. Uh, the 90s were pretty good, as you guys know, but since the 1999 NBA Finals, which the Knicks went to, it really it has been a, a disaster and kind of tough, but I've been hanging on, haven't switched teams, don't intend to switch teams. We're on the uptrend right now, so we're good. But let's go to my story as I was talking about it before. So at 12 years old, I came to the United States. Um, I lived here for about three years and my parents decided to go back. I was 15 at the time, so I had to go back with them. So at the age of 15, I had to go back to Poland um, and we flew back. So when I went back to Poland, I went straight to high school there. I played four years of high school, as well as after high school, I played two years of college basketball there. Now in high school and college, I average about between 20 to 24 points per game. Um, every single season, except for the first season in high school, I was uh, in the starting lineup, uh, playing positions with shooting guard, but mostly was small forward, I'm 6'2". My, uh, my highest scoring games in high school, it was a game uh, where I scored 42 points. And then in college, I scored 27 points. That was my high for that. While in high school, I won two regional championships uh, on the team. I had my cousin with me who was a, a year older than me. His name was Arthur. Uh, so we played the same on, on the same team. Um, he was a point guard. I was mostly small forward, like I said before. And we won two regional championships out of the four years that we were playing. In college, even though I had good personal stats and an over 20 point average, uh, played usually, you know, 35 minutes or so during the game. Um, and the team was doing pretty good, but we were always mid range, so we didn't really achieve anything major as a college team uh, at that time. Now, the biggest moment for me in my basketball career, you could say, was a 24 point game when we played in a sparring game, unfortunately, but it was a college game. Uh, we played with a team that was from a division higher than us, so they were a better team. They had, you know, taller players, just better, better team overall. Um, I scored 24 points against them. It was very, very close game, and at the last seconds, I hit the last second shot, and we won the game with them. And that was probably the highlight of uh, of my playing days. Now, in 2001, I came back to the United States and decided to stay. Um, I had to work a regular job to keep myself supported. Um, I didn't play any college or anything like that in the United States, unfortunately. Um, the thing is, I did keep playing competitive basketball in all kinds of tournaments. I was living in New York, so I played most of the tournaments on Long Island. Um, some tournaments I played in New York City as well. Now, in one of the tournaments that I played in New York City, it was a three-on-three -three tournament. They also had a separate three-point contest as well as a dunk contest. I've managed to win the three-point competition and in the, uh, I took part in the dunk contest as well and I, was, uh, I took third place out of seven participants in that. Now, I really enjoyed my, my playing days. Um, 
I even tried out for the Westchester Wildfire semi-pro basketball team at the time that I tried out for that. Um, it was coached by John Starks from the New York Knicks. Uh, he ended his career with the Knicks and he was a coach there. I think he was a coach there for maybe two seasons, not too long, but the time I tried out was while he was coaching. I did not make the team. There was a lot of people. It was an open tryout, a lot of people there. But unfortunately, I found out about the tryout about three days before from an article in a New York Post. Um, there was no time for me to get ready or anything like that, so I just went straight out there. Unfortunately, I did not make it. In, uh, in a couple of the New York City tournaments that I played, in one of them, um, I got to also meet uh, Larry Johnson. Uh, during that tryout at Westchester Wildfire that I mentioned before, I met John Starks, took photos with the guy, um, great guy, very nice, didn't have an issue with me wanting to take photos with him. Um, but unfortunately, those photos have been lost. I had him on an old phone. The phone is gone. You gotta believe me on my word, I guess. At the height of my passion for basketball, I loved basketball so much that I, I had a saying to, to, to people asking me why I spend so much time playing basketball that I liked it so much that if you would lock me in a gym with a refrigerator, a bed, a bathroom, and a basketball and a basketball hoop. That's it, I didn't need anything else. Now, since that 12 years of age, when I fell in love with the game and started playing and started watching, I've been very passionate about it. And, you know, a few years ago, I think it was when the pandemic started, I decided to start the channel, kind of share my opinions, because I've got a lot of those. They're not always 100% right, but hey, I'll share them. Uh, you could always correct me if you want, and if I don't agree with you, then I'll discuss it back. Now, if you took your time and you've watched all the way till now, I appreciate it very much. And like I said before, I appreciate every subscription, every like on the video, um, and things like that. Now, if you still haven't subscribed to the channel, um, I'm asking you to do so. There's going to be a lot more interesting content now. Um, I'm putting out a lot of shorts, uh, making long-form videos as well. And hopefully the channel could grow. I could share my, share my knowledge, share my opinions, and kind of have discussions with you guys. A lot of my viewers, I must say, that um, are pretty knowledgeable guys. And the comments that are posted and things like that are very intelligent. And it opens up a nice discussion. So I, I like that a lot. Overall, I played um, uh, organized basketball for about 20 years, including high school, college, and then all the tournaments I went into and things like that. So um, thank you for watching this video. And also, if you have any questions that you'd like to ask me about more details of my playing days, you'd like to see any other video. I don't have too much of it, but some of it I do. Um, go ahead, post it in the comments and I'll try to answer. Again, thank you for watching. I appreciate the time that you took and I'll see you in the next videos that I'll make.